What's up everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a special request RPG Maker Envy tutorial for Daryl Crawford, and he says, question, how would you make a skill that deals a lot of damage if an enemy is affected uh, by a state? Basically, I've got a bleed effect on an enemy, and then I would like to use a skill like Assassinate that deals a lot of damage to an enemy under the effects of bleed. Um, let me show you uh, what I've got and how to do it. So in the database here, I've got the bleed, uh, bleed strike which is going to uh, cause a, a state of bleeding, which we did in another tutorial. Um, so we do, we've got our negative regeneration for our bleed state, and uh, our skill is going to call on that uh, state or add the state. So once we've used this uh, skill on the enemy, it's going to be bleeding. And then we've got another uh, skill, which is our assassinate, which is going to do uh, regular damage, well, uh, a.atk times 5, so slightly higher than average damage. Uh, if you're just using it as a regular skill, um, but then if you use it while the enemy is bleeding, it's going to do six times that damage and assassinate them. So as far as MPTP cost, you're going to, of course, add some uh, and make it so that it's uh, you can't just spam it. But uh, for the sake of testing this video, I've set it to zero. But uh, we ma I'm making a physical attack with an animation, uh, and uh, you can change all these around a little bit to to fit your game. Um, you're going to specify HP damage, and you're going to say it's a physical or whatever element you want, really. Uh, yes for criticals, uh, unless you don't want them. Variance is up to you, but you have to put this in the damage form formula. You will need some uh, plugins. You're going to need Yanfly's core engine, uh, the battle battle engine core, and the damage core. I'll put links in the description below where you can get all of the plugins needed to make this work. So we're going to input a custom damage formula that has a conditional statement. So we're going to open up brackets, say damage formula, and we're going to make a condition says, that says if the target is uh, affected by bleeding, and we do that by saying if, open parentheses, target dot is, capital S on state, capital A on affected, and if and my instance is 31. For you, it'll probably be different. So I can look at my bleeding state, and it's right here, uh, number 31 is our bleeding state. So that's why I have 31 right here. We're going to close that parentheses for that, and then close that parentheses for that. Now we're going to open up a brace because this is a JavaScript evaluation. We're going to say the value of our damage is equal to the user's attack times 30. Uh, otherwise, if the enemy, the target is not affected by that state, it's going to be value equals a.atk times 5. And then we're going to close that damage formula. Now I do have a, an action sequence, but you don't need that to make the skill work. But if you'd like to copy it, you can pause the video and copy it right here as I scroll down. There you go. Okay, so let's take a look at that uh, in game now. All right, so let's use our assassinate without having bleed. Let's check how much damage it does. All right, 209, that's not bad. So we should do over a thousand if we use this while they're bleeding. So let's use a bleed strike. Now the enemy is bleeding, which will be taking 5% of its max HP every turn. I'm spamming us. But if we assassinate while they're bleeding, we should be doing quite a bit more damage. Yeah. Nice. There you go. So, uh, Daryl Crawford, hopefully this video was help helpful to you. And if it was helpful to anybody else, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your support. Um, if you guys have a special request, leave it in the comments below and I will get to it. Thank you again for watching this video and we will see you in the next tutorial.